Woods to the middle, Vang, the shot just wide as he hooked it just to the left of the far post. Back for Santos. And now Wilson with some space. Wilson curls it around the head and a goal! The Friars leading this one 1-0 thanks to the header from Christopher Roman. What a brilliant ball from Armand Wilson and the Friars. Strike for pay dirt first here tonight. You can almost feel it coming. The Friars have been knocking on the door. That is their ninth shot of the game. Santos back for Wilson and a beautiful curl on this one. Illin moving laterally, no chance there. The diving header from Christopher Roman. And for Roman, his third goal of the season, he's fired up. And the Friars, one nothing lead. They turn it over, looking in the box, Diarby and the chance, what a save by Illin. They're able to get around Montuti ahead for Diarby and Diarby and into the area. The shot and a save from Illin. Twice Illin has been able to deny Diarby in here in the second half. Burns with some pressure from Morel. Remember the Mac all rookie team. Diarby and on the run in space again. His motor keeps going. Diarby dances around one. Plays it off for Wilson. Wilson with some space. Trying to drive it towards the net and in. An absolute golazo for Armand Wilson. And the Friars lead 2-0. Not much Sam Illen could do there to stop that blast from Armand Wilson. Makes good for the one he had just missed. Diarbian picks him out. Wilson takes the touch and just absolutely lasers this one into the upper portion of the net. Armand Wilson's first career goal for the Friars, and it might propel them into the next round of the NCAA tournament. Friars, 11-4-4, and have earned themselves a date with Marshall on Sunday in Huntington, West Virginia. 2-0 the final score. Goals from Christopher Roman in the 40th minute and Armand Wilson in the 67th. The difference tonight. And a fantastic season for Marist comes to an end at the hands of the Friars.